With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. Start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber who runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater. He just made a great play there. Jackson looking to throw on third. And this is going to be incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game. And clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. They'll try and throw for it with Jackson. And rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off, Byron Jones. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. So a big defensive play there on the opening drive, no less, as they make the interception and bring it back for the score. And I think that's a signal for how this defense wants to play. They want to be disruptive, and you know they're going to take some chances. Well, sometimes it can burn you, but right there, it paid off. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost... And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. That one goes for 30 yards. No, no. Yo, yo. Now Jackson. And the pass is intercepted. He was looking for Ingram. Picked up by Champ Bailey. And the Dolphins are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. And not the first quarter that he was hoping for. Now two interceptions thrown. Well, the good ones, they find a way to compartmentalize, right? Put these behind them, have that short memory, but understand why they threw the two interceptions. They go on and usually play a pretty decent game. Other quarterbacks, they have a hard time getting past it and often put the ball up for grabs the rest of the ball game. There they'll keep leaning on the running game, back to the ground. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Here's Steve Young. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. 
from the gun. He'll hand this off, and he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Young will set to throw. Man open here is Jones. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make the play on the football. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the 6. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Let's go, guys. Now a second down and six. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. That's going to be a six-yard gain. It leaves him with third down and just a yard to go. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. They'll look to make it three for three on third down conversions. They need a yard here. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he will take it in for a Dolphin. Talking.